Hello everybody, Supersuna Rashi here and this is a short video about me explaining the rules in the upcoming Red Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge of me, Supersuna Rashi. So uh, the rules are very simple but I'm still going to explain them for you for those of you guys who don't know what an actual Nuzlocke is. So rule one, if a Pokemon faints in a battle it means that the Pokemon is declared dead. As in you can't use it anymore. You have to release it or put it in a so-called dead box. So if a Pokemon faints, it's gone. It's gone. So that's that that is the important rule of the Nuzlocke. Because it gives you a challenge uh, into completing a uh, into completing a game and the game is completed when you defeated the champion and in Pokemon Red that is your rival but that's rule one in rule two is you can only capture the first Pokemon you encounter in the area so let's say you encounter a Radada in route one you have to catch, capture that Radada. However, there is a dupes clause or a species clause, clause, which means that if you encounter another Radada in the next route, you have the option to let go, eh, to run away, and try to capture another Pokemon. If you encounter Eradicate, for example, you would also have that option to do that because that is species clause. Radada evolves into Eradicate. So, LN, static Pokemon, doesn't count. If you encounter a static Pokemon, a static Pokemon is like a Pokemon that has been given to you. Like the Eevee in Celadon City. If you, that doesn't mean you can't still encounter a Pokemon in Celadon City, because Eevee is a static Pokemon. So it's given to you, just like the starter Pokemons. So, that's rule two. First Pokemon in every area of yeah, the first Pokemon you encounter in the area, you have to catch them. Rule number three: you have to nickname your Pokemon. This is to give um, a so-called bond between your Pokemon by nicknaming them. Uh, like Pokemon are your friends, <laughs> so you have to nickname your Pokemon every time you capture one. Then the, those are the three major rules. Those are the three only rules in every Nuzlocke. Then you have uh, some extra rules and everyone... Uh, how, do you, how do you explain it? Everyone uh, has their own special rules besides the three major rules. Like I for once will use healing potions during battle because if I don't do that I won't be making... Uh, there won't be... Uh, there won't be a lot of episodes for me to play because I'm uh, not experienced in playing Nuzlocke so I will be using healing items during battle. I will try to avoid it as much as possible but if necessary I'm going to heal up my Pokemon in battle because what's the point in doing a Nuzlocke when it's over in the flash? I mean you know so I think that's the only uh, uh, rules I have during the Nuzlocke, the, during the, the gameplay, I will probably uh, explain some of the rules because I have already uh, have some episodes ready. But those are the three rules and the one optional rule I will be using in my uh, Pokemon Randomized Red Nuzlocke, who I will be going to upload this weekend or next week. So expect episode one this weekend or next week but that's for that that is all i have to say at that moment so i hope you're excited for the upcoming pokemon red randomized nuzlocke and i hope that you will enjoy it <laughs> I, that is the most uh, important thing for me that people enjoy it and get a laugh of it because i will be making failures at some point knowing myself so 
That being said, I hope you like this uh, explanation video. It's like uh, it's like episode zero, the rules. So I hope you like this. I hope you are excited. And if you are excited, please leave a like, uh, comment, share this video with others. And if you are excited for the upcoming episodes and you want to be keeping updated every time I upload one of them, please slash that subscribe button down the middle. It means so much to me. But that being said, I'm going to leave you now.